So let's talk about this fun little bug I found in ASUS's newest BIOS or the Z170 Deluxe motherboard. First we're going to go ahead and load Optimize Defaults. And save and reset the system. Sure, why not. So it loaded the default settings. Which means that everything should be the way that it came right out of the box. And for a good measure, before I even did this, I tried it with the clear CMOS button. We're going to spam the hell out of the delete key. There we go, we're back in the menu. Let's hit F7 to get into advanced mode. So, here we're going to go and hit onboard device configuration. Set it to M.2 because I have an M.2 SSD, my only drive in the system right now. It's a Samsung SM951 running Windows 10. And if you actually look at the easy mode right over here, it detects it and shows that it has the Windows View Manager on it. So that's not a problem. And let's toggle back over, save and reset. So in the save and reset screen, you can see that it's changing state express to M.2. Cool. That's exactly what we want. Let's hit OK. So right now, it's in M.2 mode, which means that Windows should boot just fine, right? Well, let's find out. What's this? No proper boot devices. Better reboot and go back into the BIOS. But why would that be? We have Windows 10 on this drive and it's in M.2 mode. Let's mash the delete key some more. This is an amateur video, by the way. I'm not by any means a professional, so this is really shitty quality. So F7. Look at that. The mode is SATA Express. Why would that be? Let's try this again, and to see if it's saving anything at all, let's just verify this. Let's toggle off Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, because who really needs that on a desktop anyways? Let's be honest. And save and reset. Maybe that was just a flick. Maybe it'll maybe it'll work this time. So let's go into the BIOS again. And we're gonna try a boot override this time just because it obviously can see the Windows drive when in the BIOS. So let's do this hit the play key some more. Go to advanced mode. So if you look right here, say it express again. Let's put M.2 SSD on. Go back into regular mode. And do the boot override. And hit Windows. Doesn't work. So this is the fun problem I'm having debugging my new PC build on an ASUS Z170 Deluxe motherboard. Cannot boot into Windows. Yeah, this is ridiculous.